emotional sensitive things Mr. Rob. Well, you're beautiful, Mr. Captain. Oh, thanks, man. And greetings, I'm Rob Chapman. Yeah, good morning. Happy mornings to you. It's, uh, we, we, we've just come in, cup of coffee. The sun's just rising. It's about 5.30 a.m. I didn't Hilton. sleep very well because <laughs> I had a luxury hotel last night. <laughs> Did you? No screaming children uh, and a bed to myself. So, of course, you don't sleep. No, absolutely not. That's what happens. Well, are you uh, in the spa for a massage last night, were you? No, mm. no, because when you're on your own and you're a 44-year-old man, Going on your own to a spa for the couples just seems a little bit like... Oh man, I, I would go on my own to a spa. That's, that's super relaxation. No kids, no anything. Just in there, zen out, read a magazine, burn some joysticks, like Women's Weekly. Something that is like a that. video that needs to happen, actually. <laughs> Lee, Lee and Chap is doing a spa. In fact, I re- this is ridiculous, but I remember the first time we went to a spa together in America. Yes. Much more successful. What was it called? Um, uh, near, near the NAMM show, wasn't it? was it? near the NAMM um, show, probably called that. And you went in and the men walked one way and the ladies walked the other way. And I remember Rob and I sitting in our shorts in like a plunge pod. <laughs> the only people in there. And then didn't some guy just walk in fully yeah, stuck just, naked? Like, yeah. Boom, boom, yeah, I was yeah. like, I don't know where to look. Don't look. Don't look. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, much more successful than the time I took my father to a Chinese spa. And that was, uh, that was a... Re- was it really? <laughs> was that, that was a really uh, happy endings all round? Or? No, we, we booked a okay. massage for my dad and myself and my friend Matt Hornby. Mm. Hi, Matt. And um, yeah, it, it was uh, it was a different kind of massage. <laughs> so we, we had to stop. I think them. I've heard this story, yes. Yeah. And you, uh, you very correctly just went, I'm sorry, I've booked an incorrect yeah. start. I thought this was going to be a Swedish massage. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realise. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's my ball bag. Ah, that's my ball bag. Yes. <laughs> This is going that direction. And then I realised my dad is in a different room. Hi, Dad. Absolutely. Uh, anyway. He's throwing dollars everywhere. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Fender makes some great guitars. They do. And uh, every year, for the last few years, three or four years, maybe longer, um, Fender at the Winter Nam show have kind of announced a set of limited edition guitars that normally every month or every other month kind of come out. Um, this, they're, they're normally American built. Uh, this year they called it the Rarity Series. And every month, sort of some sort of, what, what would you call it? Like um, cosmetically embellished. Is that right? It doesn't sound Cosmetically really. embellished. Cosmetic, it sounds like Katie Visually Price, ergonomically um, r- improved. Yes, just blinged up, basically. Uh, they've done some, some strats and tellies. Now we're <laughs> kind of two thirds of the way through the year, three quarters of the way through the year, something like that. So, we haven't got all of them yet, but we've got enough, I thought, to do a little selection of bevies of beauties. Um, so there's a three strats and a couple of tellies. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring them all out to show you because a lot of them are behind me. 
Yeah. Which is well. Shall I tell you about this one? Uh, please do, because it's the one that I want to play. It actually yep. reminds me of one of the first tracks I owned. Okay, so this um, rarity, a limited edition made in Corona, California, ha is a Strat, as you can see, and a humbucker with two single coils. Um, double tap humbucker and 65 vintage single coils. Um, the switch on the volume control is purely does the tap. It doesn't do any other sort of S1. Uh, something in the back of my mind says we've done a video about what the double tap humbucker is. And if I remember rightly, it's some, it kills zombies. It's some clever way of getting the, the humbucker to actually uh, properly sound like a single coil rather than a tapped humbucker. But hey, that's another video. Uh, dual fulcrum sort of vintage style trem, but as I said, the, the dual fulcrum version. But here's the kicker. I love that Avengers character. <laughs> what, dual fulcrum? <laughs> dual fulcrum with the uncanny ability to sort of stay level. To balance to level balance. at any point. <laughs> I've got to lay this wall, but I'm really worried it's going to be skew with. Don't worry, I got you. I'm dual fulcrum. Measure me. <laughs> That's superb. Um, why, anyway. oh, why did Fender not just continue this Rosewood theme to the front of the board? So, Rosewood neck. So, this is like the flip of, uh, of, a, of a, a normal Fender Flip neck. Me over. So instead of having a maple sort of neck and a rosewood fingerboard, Fender thought, I know, we'll do a rosewood neck with a flame maple fingerboard. I don't get why they put flame maple on top of a beautiful rosewood neck. Well, because I think some people like the feel of the rosewood. Some people might suggest it, it has a certain tonality and then, but they like the look oh, and the feel of the Are you saying that they put that bit of maple there because it'll sound better? No, but I, I'm not better. I'm just saying it's just a different thing. I, at some point or other, if you're Fender, do you just say no going, what are we going to do next? It's like, I know. Yeah. Um, anyway, what I like about the detail, you've got the, the logo is now engraved onto the headstock or laser etched. Um, normal Fender USA machine heads. And of course, if you hadn't spotted it already, this highly figured flame maple. Uh, and remind me again, it's not what's in between a veneer and a cap. A top, right? A, top, a drop yeah. top. So this is a this is a drop top, isn't it? Where yeah, it kind so of comes. So it's, it's about a, sort of two about millimeters that thick. thick. It's yeah. been put on and then pressed over. Um, and it sounds like you probably heard during the, the main demo. I was playing with a little bit of distortion, but now with just uh, no pedals, just the clean amplifier and a little bit of reverb. <laughs> And then the humbucker, uh, which I can tap. So if I go in full humbucker with a bit of distortion. is a very dark sounding distortion pedal. Let's turn, let's do something different. Um, that is it. That's uh, one of the rarities. I'll put links in the description below to each of these. They've probably looks... all got some sort of fancy name, but yeah. I expect this is something like a flame Betsy. top HSS Strat. Yes, Matilda. I really like the look of that. How yeah. much does it retail for? These are all between sort of two and two and a half thousand pounds. All come with beautiful, you know, posh leather bound, probably not leather, you know, sort of faux leather, um, animal safe leather. Um, and uh, nice hard cases, and uh, and they're all limited edition. So um, essentially, they're only made for sort of one month of the year during 2019. Uh, so if you get one of these, chances are you won't right. see many other players. <coughs> what you got there, Rob? Well, Lee, I happen to have a Telecaster from Fender Guitars. You're kidding me. It goes from vintage to twisted. I like it. <laughs> twisted Neck, which I think was the name of a serial killer from uh, from the 1950s. Twisted Neck. Twisted Did you sister. catch the Twisted Neck? No, not yet, Governor, but I'll, we're still working on it. That's my Jack the character. Twister. Yeah, I'm working on my characters. He used to kill people and then lay, and uh, disembowel their bodies and then lay them on a series of coloured dots on the floor of different things. See, and then lay I on top thought of you would have gone, he'd lock the them in a room at knife point, play Twister with them, and if they didn't win, then he'd kill them. Possibly. Red, I must reach red! <laughs> uh, 
in some horrible universe, that's yes. the thing. It, um, you'd be forgiven for thinking, well, that's mahogany, and this is maple, uh, and then you wouldn't know that the body is swamp ash. That's a beautiful looking body, isn't it? it and you know really unusual. About. It's called red mahogany. What's what's the deal on the top? Red mahogany. It's, it's a very, special kind of beautiful wasn't mahogany. Wasn't he uh, one of the X-wing fight, pi, fighter pilots yes. in, uh, in Star Wars, the original Star Wars? Red mahogany, come red in. Red mahogany, come in. <laughs> Just impacted on the surface. Uh, we're on form today. <laughs> Despite the uh, I've never fatigue. Seen, I, do you know what? When <coughs> I, I've seen wood that... I've never seen mahogany figured like that. It's got like a quilt ripple through it, hasn't it? Yeah, well, you see, this is red <laughs> mahogany. This isn't just... Oh, I uh, see. You know, what this is, you, you get like... Um, get you blue get mahogany. quilt maple. This is quilt mahogany. But they call it red mahogany. I like it. Yeah. I like the way it matches with the gold hardware and the tortoiseshell pick guard. Too. I like that. Also, <gasps> do you notice the luxurious gold hardware? I did notice the luxurious gold hardware. I also, you know what I've just decided this reminds me of? This reminds me of the telly that uh, Prince used. Not telly, you know, telly T style. The, um, the, 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 basically the guitar that Prince used that looked a bit like this. Right. Which actually there is one over there. Well, there's a Hona version of it over there right. anyway. I had Do you no want to get it? I, um... no, look, Pete, this is Pete's <coughs> guitar. And we mentioned the word Prince, which means he has to run in because he's so excited. But don't you think there's a sort of a, don't you think there's, a vibe going on there well it's like that's the the sister of this one yeah it is but without any of the wood spec that you were talking about no, well it's got a sort of bit of filth filthy coin you know what? flame i see what you're talking about now they're both t-types yeah. um <laughs> and uh yeah i see what you're saying there rob what you're basically saying is noli they don't look anything well, they, like each other <laughs> no they don't because that's made of utterly different timbers completely different structure uh it couldn't be more dissimilar See? but i i love you all the same come on then so yeah, yeah um vintage and then twisted uh custom pickups apparently it's great uh, the bump says turn it up loud and thrash it i know terrible if you're if you're the person in fender marketing responsible for writing that you're fired well no um, but just calm down I know, you, but apparently the bridge pickup is apparently wound hot on that to give it some You know extra. who else is wound hot? from neck to bridge so that you hear the twist and the vintage. I totally agree so this, with you. So this is um, neck. It's the bridge. If I step I like on uh, something really nice like a very thing from snake oil pedals, then you get... It's I nice. Like it. It's um, big neck, little neck, bigger than you'd think. <laughs> another another serial um, killer. <laughs> big neck, little neck. Bigger than you think. Two it's brothers. not set up to the way that I would normally set up a guitar. So too I've, low. Well, too it, low. Well, I'm used to very thick strings and quite high action. Mm. So for me, anything All right, that, Stevie. <laughs> I'm not like Stevie. I just play a bit of drop and stuff. So I like 10, 10 or 11 to 52s and I have the action a bit higher. So for me, with the skinnier strings and the, um, you know, that kind of thing is a bit weird. Anyway, it sounds great though. Yeah, it does. It? Sounds good. Please, sir, may I try this uh, rosewood neck telly? Only uh, if you pass me that grey top to uh, take It's after. a deal. <laughs> Thank you. 
wants to go first? Uh, well, I've got a guitar that uh, is uh, reminds me of a Joe Bonamassa audience at the Royal Albert Hall. Because <laughs> it's got a grey top. Um, um, anyway, I've been one of those audiences and I'm not grey, so they're not all like that. Uh, right. You dye your hair. Yeah. Apparently, apparently we do dye our hair. <laughs> I, do. according I don't. To, according to YouTube, we dye our hair. Wow. Well, there we go. Uh, so this is another beautiful Ashbody Telecaster, now with a quilt maple top, I believe in cloud blue burst. Mm. Let's be honest with you, it was, I wouldn't have thought that was the first thing that came to mind, a blue cloud bursting, but, uh, well, but uh, it is what it is. because we live in England, not sunny California, that's where very clouds true. do have a bit of sunshine uh, behind them. Now this <coughs> is based more on the Fender original series, so now we're into nitrous cellulose finishes, which is kind of cool, so the thin lacquer finishes. Um, and pickups wise, we have a no caster and a 64 uh, Telecaster pickup, which I'm less familiar with. But here's what it sounds like. Telly style quack, hasn't it? Three big brass saddles, very sort of vintage vibe to it, other than the look. Nice, regular kind of C shape, 60s kind of neck on it. So, maple board, as you can see, maple neck, maple board. Uh, nice. Nice comes with a nice case. Nice comes with a nice case. <laughs> yeah, nice basically is what I'm saying. Well, I've got an anomaly. <clears throat> I absolutely Have you? Have you been to the doctors about it. Yet? Yeah, I really need to Good. at some point. Yeah. Absolutely love this neck. Um, it feels so nice. It's the perfect kind of radius. It feels great to play. And then I'm a bit juxtaposed by the the gold pit guard and the you know this kind of. It's two different looks. I feel like that would go with a with a, a maple board. And then the back looks so much better than the front, in my opinion. That and that, that should have been the same as that, or that should have been the same. I don't know. Yeah, I, do well, know what? and I'm then that you. should have been recessed, because why, why would you I'm with you. That is a lot of <clears throat> nice things brought together to make something that I'm not sure. It's a little bit clashy. Uh, the one thing I wish they would have changed mm. is if they could have allowed us to adjust the truss rod, because to do it, you've got to take the neck off uh, on all of these, all of these guitars. No, no, and, not all of them. Only the ones that, so the first two we had, which are based on modern style ones, oh, you I'm, can sorry, adjust I the top. both of the struts. Uh, and any of the ones, no, the strut, you can adjust from the top So just this here. one then? No, no, the three original vibe ones, which are that one, that one, and that one, you've yeah. got to take the neck off to do. Yeah, and the yeah. sort of more contemporary ones, you can adjust. Uh, that okay. was one of the things, I kind of agree. Well, not even kind of, I totally agree. But back in the 50s, when the, you know, the truss rod adjustment was much more difficult to get to, I yeah. think the idea was that you didn't have this you didn't do sort it. of concept of traveling, touring, you know, across countries and putting guitars no. in aeroplanes and all that kind of stuff. So I just don't think necks needed much adjustment. No, well, in this I totally case, agree. this one does need adjustment. So you, it's you a little wanna, bit harder for me, to, which is right. a shame because it feels great, but it just needs to be tweaked. So, um, well, I shall get that tweaked, Rob, before it goes back on display. Well, so. no, I know you will because um, you, you run Anderson's but, uh, Tour UK, the finest you, store on earth. I mean, I'm not a particularly, you know, I don't, I don't own a gun or have any particular interest in owning a gun. But whenever Where I is see this these, going? well, whenever I see these rosewood necks, it always reminds me of kind of like a shotgun. What do you call the wooden bit on a shotgun? The, the shoulder. Right. Yeah. A butt. The butt. Uh, help us out American the, viewers here uh, who know much more um, about guns than English people but the, what it sort of reminds me of that and it and it sort of I quite like the feel of it what not, is it called not in a sort of stock the, sh the, the stock? stock no no what's the bit this is really highlighting how little we know about a gun I'm sure it's called the stock or the butt the shoulder or the um the uh the back bit the bit on a <laughs> rifle that you put against your shoulder before you go Ugh! but I just I always see it and I kind of I mean, I don't know why, but I kind of, I like the feel of it. Because you've got a long history of shooting rifles? No, I've never shot one in my life. Uh, actually, I have. not true. I've been clay pigeon shooting. 
Um, I did that too. I did yes. that in America with Rift, with Rift City guitars, Joe Leach. But I, I kind of, I think it's nice. I like it. I like the, I've always liked the feel of rosewood on a neck. Oh, the, yeah. only, the only thing about those completely rosewood Telecasters that Fender make from time to time is they're about, they just weigh too much. That's the problem. They're well, that's the problem heavy. with me too. An observation that I think that guitar sounds dark and perhaps it's the rosewood fingerboard and fretboard. That, you can make uh, any observation it. you like. Just saying, what do you think? Do you think it sounds dark? I think. <laughs> It's a beautiful sounding a guitar. guitar. It just needs a setup. It reminds me a bit of Lewis Hamilton, the footballer. <laughs> I'm not even going to go. I, I, I had a joke, but basically, Rob doesn't even know who Lewis Hamilton is, so I'm just not going there. All I know about is gaming <laughs> and guitars and martial arts and cookery. I know nothing about sports. I have no interest. <laughs> well, you is make he, up the is, joke um, yourself, then I'm not going there anymore. It's is just, he a Formula One player? Moment. Ah, so you do know something? He's a For, is he a Formula One player? He's a dry, he is a Formula One driver, yes. Uh, and I, who basically, he, in isolation, each garment of clothing that he wears is kind of super, super cool. But when he puts them all together, none of them really go and he ends up looking a bit sort of garish. And I kind of, but is ultimately a super talented, very cool F1 driver. In case so he's that, watching this channel. That's kind of what I think this guitar is. Right. It's yeah, like yeah. really, really great, but lots of cool things put together that ultimately <coughs> look cool. You know what I wish? Wish you could take that neck off and put it on that one. Shout. Put that neck on well, you could. One. You just have to buy them both. Well, why don't we do that and then just sell them as uber <laughs> special Mega secret rarity. Ones. Yeah. Rarity um, times two. So rare. Uh, there's only one. Right. Okay. Last guitar. Do you want to do the honours and I'll just stay with this one? It would be an honour. An honour. Be an honour <gasps> your honour. You know, there's something about this Strat Lee that just makes me feel special. And it's, it's everything about it is almost perfect. Right. It's almost. No, I mean, literally, it's oh. a beautiful looking Strat. Yeah. Flamed maple sunburst. It's a great top on that, isn't it? You know, like it and then, you know, older, and then the maple. And I think this isn't just normal maple. Look at it. it it's looks got a bit like, of bird's eye in it, hasn't it? It's a little bit of birdie. Some fish fingers in there. It's a bit tweet tweet. Mm. <laughs> and then the 54s. Yeah, and um, it's it's just it's enough of a child on your hand that you think like when you're playing the bluesy bends it feels perfect. Yeah, when you're playing the chords you've got that fat in your hand, but it's thin enough that you can do a bit of shred delicious. And look at it. I like this again. I'm going to use the word juxtaposition in the second time in this video because I like the fact that it's it's got a look from 2019, but a sound from 1954. Oh, I see what you did there. That was really good. Yeah. Um, well, you're right. It does have um, a vintage kind of sound, but not when you play it with the kind of game that- Or an I, orange rocker verb. Yeah, yeah. With, the, with the inhumane <laughs> amounts of uh, filth. That, inhumane That YouTube filth. consistently asks me to use uh, in the comment section. I Rob, like it. Please use- More um, gain. More gain. Shred more. I 
<laughs> Shredmore. That would be my assistant if I was James Bond. <laughs> Shredmore, where does my Morgan, toast? Shredmore, come here immediately. Stroke my cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That, this is the best one. That's my life. favorite looking one, along with that <sighs> Telecaster with the red mahogany top on it. I like that. In fairness, I kind of like them all. I can't decide what to do with this one. Does it just need a different scratch plate? Oh, I really, I really think you should just swap those two. Oh my god, I can't, I can't untethered. Uh, I really think that you should be the store that just swaps those two necks over. Because I really think that neck fits better on that one. Yeah. And that neck looks better on that one. <coughs> and yeah. then. You know, customers would get the chance to buy we something try that it. wouldn't be anywhere else. I mean, I'm not sure. I've got a horrid feeling that the pocket on that is from the original series and that's from the sort of modern series, so I don't think it, we can. Oh. But Fender for next year's <coughs> rarity thing, I think Rob's onto something there. Maybe this with a maple board and this as an all rosewood neck would have looked better. I still like that one. Um, so there we are. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. There are a couple more rarity guitars due before the end of 2019. I'll flash those up on the screen now. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing the one that's got those sort of gold foil looking. Gold foils. Yes, gold foil looking uh, pickups on them. I think that looks cool. Um, but hey, yeah, links below to all the rarity stuff from 2019. Thank you, Robert. For You're your, welcome, um, Captain excellent demonstration skills and lack of sporting knowledge. I can't say your name with a French accent. It doesn't work. Lee. Lee. Anderton. Lee. Lee. Anderton. Anderton. Robert Chapman. <laughs> What's that mean, like Catman? Ch Chatman. Yeah. <laughs> Chaton. <laughs> Chaton. Ah, right, Monsieur okay, Lee. let's go. Uh, see you next time. Bye. Please like and subscribe or unsubscribe. Oh. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, unsub. <laughs> it's up to me. Stroke my cat. <laughs> Bear Grylls, what? Stir fry. Stir fry. Wolf stir fry. Did he make a stir fry out of a wolf? Apparently so. It's called a stock. It is a stock, isn't it? Did I say a stock? I think I did. It's called a stock, the what's receiver, a, the breech bolt, the what's election a, port, what's a the butt? front straight, the muscle, the barrel, the magazine cap, the forend. Every, doesn't every boy growing up secretly want to be James Bond? No. Oh, I did. I wanted to be, you know, something believable like Batman. It's a oh, guy, right. a yeah, guy okay. with money yeah. that just could do anything you wanted to. Yeah.